I'm Tom. Welcome to my shop. Not much of a shop. I'm down in the basement in our house. Um, relatively small, but I'm trying to utilize the space as best as possible. Saw a um, plan on Jay Bates um, YouTube channel and on his Jay Bates Custom Creations website for the pocket hole bar stool. Uh, I'm going to try to do that as my first video for uh, YouTube. Uh, doing it a little different than, than Jay did instead of buying uh, one and a half by one and a half square for the poplar for the legs, I'm going to start with a eight foot two by four and strip everything out of an eight foot two by four including all of the aprons and everything else. So um, this is, like I said, my first attempt on YouTube and uh, i was been playing around with this and I'm going to do a modified one as well. I'm going to do a full size bar stool to start with and then I'm going to do a modified one. Um, it's going to be 27 inches tall. It's going to be uh, 17 inches tall. Um, like what you might use at a kitchen table in a breakfast nook or something like that. But let's see how this goes. I think we made granddaddy great that he didn't work all day. I'd love the time we spent that I'd go everywhere he went. We end up on some old deer trail. And I listened hard as he would spin his tales. We were in a field of stumps. He said, I got a new one for you, honey. These trees once stood tall, and I'm the man that made them fall. I cut them up, I sanded them down. And you wouldn't believe what I found. Past the bark and all the scars. Our home was in the heart of those old trees. God bless who sowed those seeds. A hundred years and they just grew. And only heaven knew just what they'd mean to our family. All that time to become what they should. You know our home was in the heart of the wood. He smiled, said, there's my favorite one. Pointed at a cherry stump. He said, I couldn't afford the one at Sears. So the good Lord planted one right here. He carved out what he saw within. And he gave it to my dad when he turned in. And past the bark and all the scars, there was a guitar in the heart of that old tree. All from just one seed A hundred years and it just grew And only heaven knew just what it'd be And how that tree could sing All that time to become what it should There were songs in the heart of the wood I would have been thinking earlier uh, Before I Resawed on my 2x4. Should have cut it to, to width. Uh, so now I'm just going to have to run a bunch through um, to, to get it to width. Um, I've got it set up for uh, two and a half inches. Since I've already got them cut, my angle's cut, my seven degree angle cut, I need to make sure that that seven degree angle goes against my fence. Otherwise, if I take, if I have the, the long side against my rip fence, I'm going to come, be coming in and cutting it off and making these pieces longer. So to maintain my lengths, the small side against the fence. Now on the aprons and everything, like I said, the uh, legs on the chair or the stool are uh, uh, compound seven degree angle. So the tops, uh, the, the top rails, need to, uh, the top rails need to be cut with a 7 degree angle. The bottom rails, which are going to form around the base of the chair for, um, for support as well as for footrests, 
those don't need to be cut at, a, at an angle. Um, and the reason for the, the aprons to be cut at a 7 degree angle, cut at the angle, is so that they can follow the same contour of the chair. So what I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my same block that I cut at 7 degrees at the other table, or at the, at the um, um, chop box at the Microsoft, and I'm going to set my blade angle to that 7 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and raise it up a little bit so I can get that 7 degree angle. And uh, then I'm going to come in on the side of my table saw and set my angle of my blade to match that same 7 degree angle. I'm going to double check with a couple different pieces of wood. There I go. To get the, uh, to get the, uh, the, the wood with my good face to lay, properly so it's further out at what is the bottom. Um, I need to set this on here quote bad side up. Now when these goes on go on the legs, basically they'll create a compound splayed base. I could probably cut it, come in and cut the bottoms um, at the seven degree angle as well, but I really don't think I need to. I've repositioned my rip fence over to the left side of my uh, table to get it out of my way for right now. now is I'm going to take my uh, my two by twos that I've kept from the from the uh, the two by four, and I'm going to look at them and I'm going to try to determine what faces I like best for the outsides of my legs, and I'm going to mark those, and I'm just going to put a mark on the two faces adjacent to each other that I like the best. I'm going to do that to all four of them. I marked them so that the two X's are towards me for right now. The one on the top face and, and when I roll it over the other X is, is towards me. So they're up towards me and, and backwards towards me. And that's just so that I can keep track of what I'm doing. The other thing, I made a, a little V block. Pretty simple. Just cut 45, glued it to a plate, made sure that, that it's square to go against my, uh, my, miter, bo or my miter bar. Haven't moved my seven degree angle from the uh, from cutting the seven degree angle on the legs or on the aprons. Just want to set the height of my blade, and I'm going to put it so that those two X's uh, you can't see it. Let me adjust my camera just a little bit. There I go. I've marked it. My two X's are on the top at this point in time. I said we can mark a tree to keep from getting lost. And then I'll always point our way home like that old rugged cross. A hundred years and it just grew. And only heaven knew just what it'd be 
and who'd hang on that tree. It held the Son of God like it should. But I know it broke the heart of the wood. Twins. I think when made granddaddy great, is that he did. From Jay's, from Jay's uh, website, he's got it in SketchUp. He's got a picture of it at the start. He's got a cut list of everything. He's showing how to do it out of two, uh, one by three by forty eights. You could do it out of one, uh, one by six by uh, four foot long um, same same scenario the seats gonna be 9 by 16 and then he's got a, a detailed um, um, instructions on how to go about doing it once again it's from Jay Bates at uh, Jay's custom creations dot com is the plan that I'm using his legs uh, he's calling for 27 and a half for the length of the legs, um, that's probably ideal for a bar stool height. I'm going to try to get as much as I possibly can out of the length of my uh, rip fence to use as my stop block, my initial stop block. It gets me 27 and a half. It looks like. Take this little piece of plywood, set it on here for my mark. I won't be hitting, won't be running against my uh, stop fence or my uh, rip fence, and um, I'll be uh, I'll be good on my on my uh, life. Let me go ahead and set this up. Pretty straightforward. You can't see it over here on the right, but on the I've got a, uh, you can't even see my, my rip fence at all. Let me see if I can move that just a little bit. Please forgive all the garbage in the background. I've taken my rip fence, put a small piece of uh, plywood on it with a, with a clamp as a stop so I can get my 27 and a half. So, I now have all of my uh, cut lumber, set it back down on the, uh, on the, on the table saw with uh, the double axes towards me facially and towards me bodily so that I know how it was, how it was cut the first time. I'm going to take that cut. When I cut it the first time, I cut it through like this. So what I'm going to do now is take this leg and flip it end for end. So now my double X's are down into my jig. Come over, touch my stop block, then I'll run these Didn't through. Didn't work all day. I love the time we spent, and I'd go everywhere. Yes. Well, thanks for visiting. <laughs>
and I'm going to round over all four, all four edges, all four sides on on those. So, have my router table set up. Going to maintain the same round over and run the same round over down that face on all of these legs. Uh, it gives it a little rounder edge on that front, not quite so square. Um, I don't think prettier, but uh, I don't think either one is better than the other. So, where my my two X's are on my on my uh, legs that I did, I want to make sure that those are down and towards the fence um, and run those. I think what made Granddaddy great is that he didn't work all day. I'd love the time we spent, and I'd go everywhere he went. We end up on some old dear trail, and I listened hard as he would spin his tales. We were in a field of stumps. He said, "I got a new one for you, hon." These trees once stood tall, and I'm the man that made them fall. I cut them up, I sanded them down, and you wouldn't believe what I found. Past the bark and all the scars, our home was in the heart of those old trees. God bless who sowed those seeds, a hundred years and they just grew. And only heaven knew just I'm taking all of my, my aprons and set them up again and I'm just going to come in and put an X on the inside of all of these aprons. These are the ones that are going to go directly under my seat for the support because I want my pocket holes drilled on the inside of those. What they mean to our family all that time to become what they should You know our home was in the heart of the wood He smiled, said, there's my favorite one Pointed at a cherry stump I'm going to take some uh, quarter inch ply Set underneath the aprons so that I've got a quarter inch setback between Said I couldn't afford the one at Sears So the good Lord planted one right here He carved out what he saw within And he gave it to my dad when he turned him And past the bark and all the scars There was a guitar in the heart of that old tree all from just one seed A hundred years and it just grew And only heaven knew just what it'd be And how that tree could sing All that time to become what it should There were songs in the heart of the wood He said we can mark a tree to keep from getting lost And it'll always point our way home Like that old rugged cross A hundred years and it just grew And only heaven knew just what it'd be And who'd hang on that tree It held the Son of God like it should but I know it broke the heart of the wood. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> there we have the base for the stool. Um, I messed up on my on my uh, 
the front and back or sides of the uh, stool. I cut these at the seven degree angle and put the extra pocket holes in them. I didn't cut these, the front and back, at the seven degree angle and they have the round over. Uh, it's called uh, project modification. So I need to come in and I'll put a couple of pocket holes on the cross brace to, to put the seat in. Um, I hadn't planned on, I had thought about that I hadn't planned on putting in the plugs inside on the on the bottom legs uh, with the two extra holes. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and plug those. Uh, all I've got left to do is the uh, 9x16 top. So uh, I'm going to drill a couple pocket holes on these, fill those other holes, glue and screw or um, glue the, the plugs in and uh, then I'll palm sand all that once I get the plugs off. So I'm going to kind of do that off camera and we'll be back. I think what made granddaddy great is that he didn't work all day. I'd love the time we spent and I'd go everywhere. Here's the, the stool. Came in and uh, threw on a, literally threw on a quick coat of, threw on a quick coat of um, men wax, or uh, not men wax. I'll, I'll, I'll make the note of the right name on the bottom here when I do the video. Um, Early American stain. Throw some stain on. Um, here's that that piece of plywood I had. Um, I'm not sure what type of plywood it is. I don't think it's poplar. Um, I know that the, the the stool itself, the frame itself, is uh, probably Douglas fir, uh, maybe spruce. I have no idea. It was in the Two dollar and forty-eight cent per uh, two by four by eight foot sections um, at uh, the local Menard store. So um, the plywood. Um, my uh, daughter's fiance does uh, cabinet work, and uh, it's scrap from from cabinets that they were, or from uh, not cabinets, but from the cabinets they built. So they were going to throw it away. He brought it to me. Um, I've got a little pile of it, and, and that'll end up sitting right up here on the top like that. Um, nothing fancy. Using it for sitting down in the shop. My uh, wife does stained glass. Using it for her. Her using it to sit uh, to sit while she's doing stained glass. I think that'll work. Um, like I said, uh, minor minor flaws. Like or is it a piece of fine furniture? No, it's not. Um, but it's a two by four. Uh, it is. It, it is quite functional. It's quite uh, utilitarian, and that's kind of where I was going with it. Um, like I said I just rubbed on some of the uh, some of the finish, the early American finish. And I think it'll. I think it turned out real nice for uh, two dollars and forty eight cents plus. Uh, uh, what, uh, 60, 34, something like that. Uh, pocket screws in about an hour of time. Uh, I think I think I did pretty good. Uh, maybe a little longer than the hour. So, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll uh, put a caption in of, of what what uh, stain it was. The brand name, my mind's gone blank. 
Uh, it was the early American shade. Uh, once again, thanks to Jay Bates for uh, uh, letting me do this project, uh, which is his designing his project. I appreciate that. Thank you.